everybody. This is Diana from So Very Crafty, and today we are here to make this terrific little digital camera carrying bag. It is so simple to make that anybody with basic sewing skills can make this in no time. There's a free pattern and free instructions, any, everything you like. There's a companion blog post that goes with this as well to show you just exactly how to make this project. So I hope that you will enjoy this project today. It is a simple one. And if you do, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click on those notifications so you can get further future uh, notifications for So Very Crafty videos as they come out. Um, believe me, this is a simple, simple project, and I think you'll enjoy this one today. So let's get going. So let's get started. What do we need? The first thing we're going to need is this pattern, and I will put the link of, for this pattern in the discussion section. And there are actually two pieces to this pattern that you have to tape together. So just make sure that when you tape them together, they look like this. And once you have the pattern piece, I don't know if you can see it on this white background, but it looks like kind of a, an airplane looking thing. But uh, once you have the pattern, you are going to cut an outer piece of fabric from that pattern, a lining piece of fabric from the same pattern piece, a piece of interfacing, and I've used Pelon SF101 for my interfacing to give it a little structure, and you are going to cut a piece of fusible fleece from that same pattern piece. The next thing that you are going to want to do is you're going to cut a four inch wide by the width of your fabric piece of uh, outer fabric that you're going to use for the strap for this camera case. The next thing that you need is a magnetic snap and it looks like this. And I will show you during the course of this uh, video how to install these magnetic snaps. They are super easy to install and they take no time at all to do. So once we have started, uh, once we have cut out all of our pieces, the process goes very quickly. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to take our outer fabric and this outer fabric I got from fabrics.com and it's a cute little uh, camera themed fabric that I will try to put the link in if I can to where you can get this fabric because um, it's really cute. I used it on another project for some camera lens uh, cases for my other camera. But this is just for a small digital camera that you can take anywhere. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to fuse our SF-101 to the wrong side of our outer fabric. Once we have fused the SF-101 to the outer fabric, we are then going to fuse the fleece right on top. So we're going to actually have three layers here. We're going to have a layer of outer fabric, of SF-101 interfacing, and of the fleece. So I'm going to head over to the iron and I'm going to fuse these together. And if you're unfamiliar with how to fuse the interfacing and the fleece, just follow your manufacturer's instructions. For the most part, 
all you really need to do is have a hot iron uh, because each of these has a glue side and a non-glue side and that glue is going to fuse into the fabric in front of it so that it joins it together um, and makes it into one piece of fabric that you can manipulate all together. So I'm just gonna head over to the iron and take care of that right now. Okay, so now I have fused my fleece and my interfacing onto my outer piece of fabric. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my arms, I'm going to place them so that they are facing toward the curve of my pattern piece here, and I'm just going to clip it. You can pin it if you like. It's completely up to you, and it looks like that. I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I am going to stitch a one quarter inch seam from the corner to the, to the top of my piece here on both sides. And for this, I'm going to use my brand new Janome Memory Craft 9450 that I just got a couple of weeks ago. I'm so excited. I'll put the link in where I got that um, in the discussion section. If you were interested in a new sewing machine, I would highly recommend this place. Um, I got a great deal on it and it is just fabulous. Love it so much. But for, for now, we're just gonna head over and we are going to stitch our one quarter inch seam allowance right along these two edges and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are at the brand new sewing machine and we are going to stitch right along our edge here using a one quarter inch seam allowance. and we have the beginnings of a small box. Now the next thing that we have, now that we have our sides, we are going to place the front of our little box and we are going to attach it to the other side of our sides. And clip it and as you can see we have are creating a small little box for our camera to fit right in and I'm going to head back over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch right along this edge again using a one quarter inch seam allowance I'm not going to show this on camera because I just showed you how to do the other side um, but it's exactly the same process and we'll come back and we'll go to our next step. Okay, so now we are back and I'm gonna flip this right sides out. Just like that. So we have a little box with a flap on the front. Now what we need to do is we're gonna take our lining piece and we are going to do exactly the same thing. We are going to place our arms up, stitch those using a quarter inch seam allowance, place our fronts, stitch those using a quarter inch seam allowance, and uh, 
then we'll proceed to our next step. I'm not going to show you how to do this on camera because we just created this one and this one is absolutely identical. So I'll be right back. So there's our lining and we have our outer bag. Now the next thing we need to do is create our strap. And that is super simple to do. We have a long piece of fabric. We are going to fold in the long sides of our fabric, each side into the center. Now, if you want, you can go over to the iron and press this in half so that you have a nice center line to go off of. But ultimately, you're going to place these long edges to the center and you're going to press this together. And then you're going to fold these pieces together in half so that the raw edges are enclosed. So I hope that makes sense. You're going to fold, first of all, the raw edges to the center, then fold it in half, and you have no raw edges showing. And once you've done that, you're going to stitch both sides of this long strap to enclose those raw edges and give it a nice finished uh, edge. So I'm going to head over to the iron and to the sewing machine and we're going to take care of that. Okay, we are back at the sewing machine and as you can see we have placed our straps, edge edges to the center, folded in half, and now we are just going to stitch the edges together. And that's our strap. Okay, before we add on our strap, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add our magnetic snaps. So what I've done is I've made a little bit of a crease here at the bottom front of my bag, and I just use the iron for that. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to measure up from that little bottom crease about three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna make a mark. I'm gonna measure across this And it's about four and a half inches, so I want to make sure that this is two and a quarter inches from my side seam. And I'm actually going to make a dot right here, and that's where I want my magnetic snap to go. Now you don't have to worry because this is an erasable pen. So it's a heat erasable pen. 
So now we are going to add on our one half of our magnetic snap. And the way that I like to do this is these magnetic snaps have a little grommet that looks like this. I hope you can see it from the camera. But it's got a little circle and two slits on the side. I'm going to place the circle on the dot that I made for my magnetic snap. And I am going to then draw lines where those slit marks go. I'm going to take a seam ripper, uh, or you could use a small pair of scissors, but I'm just going to use a seam ripper, and I'm going to cut those slits just a little bit. I'm going to place one half of my magnetic snap prongs through those slits, and you can see it comes out the other side. I'm going to take the grommet, place it over it, and I'm going to bend these prongs on either side of that grommet, and that secures the magnetic snap. Now, we are going to place the other half of the grommet on the lining piece. And we want to make sure that we are placing it on the right side of the lining piece and not the wrong side. So I'm going to fold this in half like that and just make a finger pressed center mark there. And I'm going to measure down one and a quarter inches and I'm going to make a mark. And I know that this is the right side, because if I turned this right side out, this would be the right side, and this is the side that ultimately is going to fold down when we close our bag. We are going to use our grommet again to mark the slits. Take our seam ripper. Be careful here because there's no lining or, or the, no interfacing to kind of slow down your seam ripper but place the other half of your grommet in there, or your magnetic snap. Insert the grommet, fold over the prongs, and there's the other half of your magnetic snap ready to go when you've finished your bag. Now we want to add our strap that we just made. So I'm going to take my strap, and I'm going to clip it on the side here. So that the raw edges are matching the raw edges of my outer bag. And make sure that you don't twist this strap or You'll have to take the whole thing apart and you don't want to do that. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to place our outer fabric inside of our lining fabric so that they are right sides together. So you'll notice that I never turned my lining fabric right sides out. I kept it so that it's wrong sides out so that I could place this outer fabric inside and they're now right sides together. I'm going to stuff this
strap inside here. I'm going to clip the lining, the strap, and the outer fabric together. And then I'm going to clip the front ends together and the entire flap part together. And we want to make sure that our raw edges are matching. Otherwise, we'll have difficulties when we're stitching this together. And it may seem a little wonky because that strap is in there, but that is the way that it needs to be. Okay, so we have clipped our clips, and you can pin this if you like, but uh, I find the clips are a little easier. And if you don't have any, I'll put the link into the discussion section on where you can get them. Now I'm going to head back over to the sewing machine, and we are going to stitch from one clip on the front all the way around the flap to the other clip. And we are going to leave this front part open. And the reason we're going to leave this front part open is because we need to turn this entire bag right sides out and that's going to allow us to do that. So let's head back over to the sewing machine and let's take care of that. Here we are back at the sewing machine and we are going to start from one of our clips and we are going to stitch all the way around this bag to the other clip. Now this is a little fidgety, so take your time when you're doing this. So that is all we need to do to stitch our bag together. Okay, so we are back and we have stitched our bag all the way around. Now all we need to do is turn it right sides out. We can pull this strap out, pull out our outer bag, And really all we have left is our opening. I'm just going to take some clips. I'm going to clip this opening closed. Everything's in order.
The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to top stitch around our bag all the way and that's going to enclose this raw edge and give our bag a nice finished look. Now I have kind of a gray color outer fabric and orange in the lining. And because of that, um, I don't really want a gray colored thread on my lining. So I'm going to use a little sewer's trick and I'm going to put a uh, orange colored bobbin into my machine so that I can have orange thread on the inside and I'm just going to use white on the outside um, so it's a little less obtrusive. So let's head over to the sewing machine and let's top stitch all the way around our bag and we will be finished. Okay, here we are back at the sewing machine and we are just going to top stitch all around our bag. We're enclosing that raw edge. Okay, we have now finished our top stitching. And as you can see, I have orange thread on the inside and I've used some white thread on the outside. We just close this up like this. And there we have our little camera bag. All you need to do is take your little camera Toss it inside, fits perfect, perfectly inside this bag. No twisted snap or strap. Fits perfectly around the shoulder. You can fit whatever you need for your camera in this, including the charger, and you are ready to go. How simple is that? This is a super simple little digital camera bag that anybody with beginner sewing skills can make in literally no time at all. So I urge you to give this project a try. And if you enjoyed this project, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you want more sewing and crafting projects, head over to www.soverycrafty.com and get many, many, many more sewing and crafting projects that you won't see here on YouTube. Um, I'm getting to them one by one, but um, I'm trying to do these simple projects for any beginner or intermediate sewist uh, to make in little or no time at all with very little fabric and other um, necessities. So please, um, again, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and give this project a try. Thank you all, and I will see you again next time. Bye.